I don't wonder at all. <laughs> Not at all. Hello, everyone. Jason Reynolds. Jason freaking Reynolds. Jason gives so much of himself to his readers. To every word he writes, in every word he writes, uh, in every school he visits, in every reader that he meets personally. And I am so lucky right now because I get to stand up here while we all give something back to him for a change. Jason's books have sold about two and a half million count copies and counting. They've been honored by almost every award committee out there. But his gift isn't the book sales and it isn't the critical acclaim. His gift is how he makes children and teenagers feel, especially black children and teenagers. He makes them feel seen by telling stories that they can see themselves in. He shows his readers that their stories matter, their voices matter, that they matter. Now, Jason's books aren't universally loved. Uh, in fact, last year in uh, Charlotte's, Charlotte, uh, sorry, Charleston, South Carolina, the police there tried to have the book All American Boys removed from a summer reading list in high school. Yeah. Now, if you haven't read it, All American Boys, which was co-written by Brendan Kiley, tells the story of the fallout from a brutal police beating of a black teenager. And it's told from two perspectives, a white teenager and a black teenager. And it is an urgent book. And it's a book that takes on a difficult topic urgently and allows for conversations in all communities. It is a searing look at perspective, at privilege, and at the power of protest. Those police in Charleston, though, called it an indoctrination of the distrust of police. Now we know better. And Jason's readers know better. Jason's commitment to his readers is remarkable. It's deeply authentic. He understands the value of seeing yourselves in the stories that you read and that the stories that you hear and that you're told matter. So when a book centering on black teenagers is challenged, that's one more black teenager being told they don't matter. And Jason refuses to allow young people to doubt their own value. So I've known Jason for going on seven years now. And I am proud beyond words to say that I am his publisher. Um, but it's also very, very rare that I get to address him publicly. <laughs> so you're going to have to indulge me for a minute. Um, to put it simply, every now and then, there's a person that comes into your life that has a seismic impact. That is you, Jason. That's you to every reader that you meet. That is you to every community that needs to hear your voice, even if they don't know it, especially if they don't know it. That is you to everyone at Simon & Schuster who will follow you and walk alongside you no matter where the path is going because we are utterly, utterly convinced that you know the way. That is you to the entire children's book industry and frankly, every industry you're about to shake up before you're done. And that is you a thousand times to me. I can't think of anyone who is more deserving of this award. Jason's entire body of work gives voice to those whose lives are all too easily silenced. I am honored to present a Free Speech Defender Award to Jason Reynolds. <laughs>